Hello YouTube and welcome to a brand new Unity 3D tutorial. This is a 109th space tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to add a shield system to it. So when you hit the atmosphere your shield will go down. Then eventually your health will go down once your shield is depleted. Otherwise your shield will slowly regain health. So it's really really simple to do, really cool. But before we do that we're going to fix that little glitch. So on our, miss our character, our collection collisions then, we have... Um, our start system here and here for our atmosphere and space game. However, on land there is no such thing as ship stats, so we can't find it. It throws an error, so we need to fix that in case. Well, we'll throw an error. It weren't very good. So in here we're going to type if application dot loaded level equals nine. I already know the new verse is nine. And um, for anyone who hasn't watched my land tutorials, this basically says. If your current level loaded, so the level what's currently loaded by its ID is 9, and the ID is if you go File, Build Settings, these here, so look, Universe is 9. If it equals 9, then it can run this code. Otherwise, don't touch it. And we'll do the same again for this. So if application.load level equals 9, in that case, boom, don't load it. So we click Play, it'll work fine. Everything will still be the same, we'll still lose um, health and stuff. As you can see, health still going down, we can still fire. Works perfect. So, our next thing is for the shield. So, when we hit it, our shield goes down, otherwise it doesn't. So this is really, really simple, and it's a lot like our space one. So we're going to go to GUI scripts and click life systems. So at the moment, we have health bar. Perfect. So we're going to duplicate it and call it shield bar. So we'll just move it down, say by 50. I don't know. So it basically, whenever I work that out, it's currently at 10. 10 plus 40 is 50. So move it down a little bit, and it should be either touching or a bit down. It's just a guess, really. So all this is fine, but we need to set this to our shield. So shield bar equals shield. So that one works and duplicate this again and we'll just call it shield bar you'll see this and it'll work fine but the shield will never ever go down so we'll just test it to make sure it's in the right place and everything so basically we just duplicated the entire health system but moved it down a little bit so as you can see we have a wrongly scaled we'll go up to it our health will go down but not the shield so as you can see it's fine so this needs to be fixed Oh, hi, that's why, 20. There we go, so that should be fine. So we've done that, but now we need to go to the code which handles the health. So whenever we hit the atmosphere, it takes our health down. So that will be our collisions script again. So we'll go and find our collisions. And scroll down to atmosphere. So here, it says, start, stop, player health, minus equals 1. Why not just stick it here? It's already here. So if start stop player dot shield I'm zooming, I keep forgetting to do that, I do apologise. It's just I'm not used to working in such a high zoomed in thing when I'm over programming alone. So start dot shield is less than one, then decrease the player's health. Else So if it can't do it, it decreases the player's shield. So it'll come on, um, look, is the shield's health less than 1? No, because it's 100, so take this player's shield down, tick, 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 shield will go down. Um, is the player's health shield less than 1? Yes it is, it now equals 0, take the player's health down. And it'll slowly go down after this, we put, if player's health is less than 1, dead. Simple as that. You could put this on your own script if you like, I suppose you could put it here. It'd be a lot better there, wouldn't it? No, we'll keep it there, we will keep it there, it's probably better if we do. So we go back to this, and we'll try it to see if our shield goes down. But instead of 1, because that'll take forever, I'm just going to turn it to 10. Otherwise it's going to go for ages and we'll not be able to see anything. So we'll go up, and we'll see. Tick, 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 tick. So our shield's going down. I actually prefer it at 10. 10 quite nice. So it goes down, and then as soon as it equals less than 1, 
Boom. Oh my god, we've run out of shields. Oh no, we're dying. What do we do? We need to get out of here. Boom. Perfect. So another way is we now need to say that they've left the atmosphere and then that they can begin regenerating shields. Now, I don't want to regenerate health because you don't see a spaceship. We'll say a boat then because it's more realistic. F like swimming down. Um, they can fix the mass and stuff on, but if they get a massive hole, they can't really fix it. So this, I'm just going to have one of them go up. So I'm going to type here, booleans, and this is in the life system script. I'm going to type var. Um, regen equals false. So if regen equals true, it'll begin regenerating health while well, shield. So we can just put this straight in. If regen equals true, so instead of losing it, we're just going to copy this, paste it right here. Stats is already there. Look, so it's really, really simple. Plus equals 5. I don't want them going up so fast. So now what we need to do is make it so when they leave the atmosphere or leave danger, they can instantly start regenerating. Eventually we'll add a timer later in the tutorials far, far down. So easiest way to do it is go to go to collisions and duplicate this whole function. It's a bit much to duplicate, but it's worth it. So on collision stay, on collision leave. This might be exit, I'm not 100% sure. So it, all this is fine if call equals that. Then here we'll type game object dot find uh, miss scripts dot get component life systems dot regen equals true. That's my dog, I apologize for that. So what this will do is when we leave the atmosphere, leave um, a collider, it'll check what level we're on, we already know that. And if the thing what we left was space atmosphere, then it'll pretty much just turn regen true. But we also need to make this false when we get in it. So here, on trigger stay, if it equals space atmosphere, false. So we're not regenerating no more, then we are regenerating when we leave. So you'll see it will probably throw up an error saying no, it's exit, even though I don't know where it is. It's one of them. I always get mixed up with those two words. It worked. Shocking. So, at the moment we've got a small glitch in our live systems before we even click play. I can see it straight off. This is gonna if regen is true, it's gonna keep going and going and going and going and going and go 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 going to keep going and going and going past our shield limit, which isn't what we want. So here, if we type if stats dot player dot shield is less than or equal to, so less than equals, then um, we'll just type hundred for now. Eventually, we will have to link this up to an overall stats thing, like a backup health system thing. But if it's less than hundred, then don't increase it. Otherwise, increase it. Let's try it. So it likes it, let's play. But before we do, let's unplay because I've just discovered an issue. If we click character, you will see that our live systems, which is on this scripts, is it? There, GUI scripts, regen needs to be true. So you'll see it won't regenerate health. See, we've got a shield, perfect. We've got a little bit more. So we'll go up into here and we'll start dying. We got a null reference exception. 87 and it doesn't like game objects dot find is because it was on GUI scripts, that's why. So I put it on the wrong one. It is technically a GUI script, yeah, I will give that. We have put it in the right place. Try again. So you'll see we have the right one. GUI scripts, we go up to here. We get another null reference exception. 97y component dot life systems it's got an underscore good lord <laughs> right final test it should work now hopefully fingers crossed please 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 so we go up and we'll see our shield goes down tick 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 perfect but if we leave, it 
doesn't enable the thing again because it must be exit. So if it's not calling the function, it usually means it's not there. So on trigger exit, um, leave and exit mean the same thing, but leave is not being called. Exit is a default function called inside of Unity. So we go in, we get attacked, click, 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 we go out, and our health goes back up. And it'll stop at 100. So we're going to see, it goes over a little bit, tiniest bit. So, oh no, we're dying, we're dying, we're dying. So we just kill our health completely off. Come out, and you'll see our health will stop and regenerate our shield. And we can have like a boing, like an electronic sound going off when we're doing it. So that's it for this tutorial. Sorry about the errors in it. Um, that function always, always gets me. So it's on trigger exit, not leave. So thank you for watching. I really, really hope you liked it. And I don't know what we'll be doing next tutorial. See you next time. Please join my Facebook group if you want to get daily updates. I have seen people joining. Um, I do thank you. You do get really quick updates on there. And see you next time.